Hey YouTube, it's Matt again with uh, part two of my Criterion Collection. Starting where we ended off at. Another Powell and Pressburger title. This is the 49th Parallel. Lindsay Anderson's If, starring Malcolm McDowell. Uh, this is, has been re-released on Blu-ray since I bought this. Billy Wilder's Ace in the Hole. Mr. Kirk Douglas. Byron Haskins Robinson Crusoe on Mars. This is on blue excuse me, Blu-ray. Right here, there's a hole in my collection there you can see between these two. That is normally where Jean-Luc Godard's Breathless goes. I currently have it lent to a friend. Next is Terrence Malick's Days of Heaven uh, on Blu-ray. Beautiful looking release. Monty Hellman's Tulane Blacktop. Another Godard film, Pierrot Le Fou. Bernardo Bertolucci's The Last Emperor. This is the four disc DVD edition. Ang Lee's The Ice Storm. Juan Antonio Bardem's Death of a Cyclist. Anthony Mann's The Furies. Barbara Stanwyck. Also comes with the novel by Niven Bush. Carl Theodore Dreyer's Vampire. Which comes with a version of the script. Costa Gavras's Missing. Another Wes Anderson film, Bottle Rocket. The Spy Who Came In From The Cold, which I believe is directed by Martin Ritt. Wong Kar Wai's Chungking Express. This is the early Blu-ray slip cover. Samuel Fuller's White Dog. Francois Truffaut's The Last Metro. This is the Blu-ray slip cover. Nagisa Oshima's In the Realm of the Senses. Science is Fiction, 23 films by Jean Pinlevé. This one I'll definitely be talking about later on. David Fincher's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. You can sort of see the title on this one. This is Alain René's Last Year at Marion Bad. It's actually embossed into the title. It's not printed. Roman Polanski's Repulsion. Whit Stillman's The Last Days of Disco. That would be Chloe Sevigny and Kate Beckinsale. Alexander Corda's That Hamilton Woman. Vivian Lee and Laurence Olivier on the cover. Matteo Garona's film Gamora. This is the Blu ray. Michael Ritchie's Downhill Racer. A multi-disc set. The Golden Age of Television. Probably talk more about this one later. Roberto Rossellini's War Trilogy. It contains Rome Open City, Paisan, and Germany Year Zero. As you can see there. Gets Spielman's Revanche. Leo McCary's Make Way for Tomorrow. Artwork is done by the gentleman that does the New Yorker cartoons. 
Marco Ferrari's Dillinger is Dead. Nicholas Ray's Bigger Than Life on Blu-ray. Jean-Luc Godard's Vivre Sa Vie. John Ford's Stagecoach. Jim Jarmusch's Mystery Train. Michelangelo Antonioni's Red Desert, one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. Terry Zweigoff's short documentary, Louis Bluey. And its full length companion release in Criterion, Crumb. Terrence Malick's The Thin Red Line on Blu ray. I will, I will definitely need to talk more about this one. This is easily the best Blu ray Criterion's ever produced. Stanley Kubrick's Pass of Glory. Again, we see Kirk Douglas. Nobuhiko's Obayashi's House, or Hausu, on Blu ray. Wes Anderson's The Darjeeling Limited, also on Blu ray. The phenomenal two disc Blu ray set of Night of the Hunter, which is directed by Charles Lawton. Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times on Blu ray. Another set, their most recent big box set, America Lost and Found, the BBS story, which contains Head, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, Drive, He Said, A Safe Place, The Last Picture Show, and The King of Marvin Gardens. All of these are on Blu-ray. And you can see the spines there. Next up is... James L. Brooks's Broadcast News. Alexander McKendrick's The Sweet Smell of Success. Ken Loach's Kess. Love that cover. Brian De Palma's Blowout. Masahiro Shinoda's Pale Flower on Blu-ray. Another Charlie Chaplin film, The Great Dictator. We'll definitely talk more about this one. Another one by Nicholas Rogue, Insignificance on Blu-ray. Robert Aldrich's Kiss Me Deadly, also on Blu-ray. I love the cover. It's made out to be like an old Mickey Spillane novel. Another old Cooper classic. This is The Killing. Also on Blu-ray. The Complete Jean Vigo, which includes A Propos de Nice, Terrace, Zero de Conduite, and La Talanta. Also on Blu-ray. And my final Blu-ray is Victor Showstrom's The Phantom Carriage. This is a film that, uh, silent film that made Ingmar Bergman want to go into filmmaking. And I have three Eclipse sets, as you can see. First one is the first films of Samuel Fuller, which contains I Shot Jesse James, The Baron of Arizona, and The Steel Helmet. All wonderful films, uh, especially The Steel Helmet. Definitely an excellent purchase if you're a Sam Fuller fan. Next one is Travels with Hiroshi Shimizu, which includes Japanese Girls at a Harbor, Mr. Thank You, The Masseurs and the Woman, an ornamental hairpin. Uh, very, very interesting set. Uh, the Travels refer to Hiroshi Shimizu's trademark traveling shot. Nikatsu Noir which highlights films from the Japanese Nikatsu studio, specializing in sort of B-crime pictures. It has I Am Waiting, Rusty Knife, 
Take Aim at the Police Van, Cruel Gun Story, and Occult as my passport. And the last one is Duzan Makaveyev, Free Radical. It contains the films Man is Not a Bird, Love Affair, or The Case of the Missing Switchboard Operator, and Innocence Unprotected. Highlights the early career of the Yugoslavian free-thinking uh, filmmaker that broke a lot of taboos in his country's filmmaking. So that is my whole collection. As I mentioned, I will uh, do some other videos highlighting some of the titles more in depth. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, love to hear from your comments. If you'd like me to talk about any of these films more in depth, let me know and I can make a video for you. Thank you very much.